Welcome back to the course Introduction to Capella. In this section, we're going to talk about defining the system prime and contractor configured items. Uh, they are going to be the major items in the system. The system configuration item is the parent item that represents the system that will be decomposed into prime items. Uh, the prime configuration items are prime elements of the system developed internally or, internally or contracted externally. They're also they're made up of, of hardware configuration items, uh, software configuration items, and also COTS and NDIs, non-developed items. So we're going to walk through some steps of how to do that. Uh, we're going to do that in the tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the EAB uh, structure, and we're going to take a look at what the structure looks like currently. So here's the structure that we're talking about. We're also going to be looking at the PAB at some point to see uh, what we can, what we need to create. So I'm going to go and I'm going to open up the PAB also because it's a good resource to be looking at. So here's the PAB object, and here's the ones for the operator. Uh, and we're going to do uh, physical nodes with functions. We'll take the most complicated one and bring it over. And so I'm going to look at both of these. And in this case, I'm going to split the screen a little differently so we can take a look at it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, okay, I'm going to have this telemetry box. Now what we, we already have a telemetry system here. You can see I have a prime item called telemetry. Uh, and it has a photon particle, a hardware signal board, hardware configuration items. Now in this case, we're going to, what we can do is we could either modify this one uh, or we could create a new one. Uh, and in, in the instance here, I'm, I'm leaning towards creating a new one, mainly because the old item, uh, we still may want to have units that have the old configuration item uh, and we want to have these new units have, a, have a, something different, you know, have the new, new functionality. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through that approach. So I'm going to close this window here for now and We'll basically make this window a little bigger, and I'm going to introduce this new uh, prime configuration item, and it's going to be very similar to this. It's going to have some of the same parts. Um, so um, this one has a hardware signal sensor board. Uh, this has a photon particle, so we're going to switch out the processor. Uh, it's going to still have an antenna uh, for, for doing things uh, in this mode. Actually, we're not going to have this antenna, because this antenna here went right to Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and add this new, uh, uh, this was a prime configuration item. So I'm going to add this prime item. I'm going to go here and add that in. And this uh, prime item uh, is going to be then, um, uh, operator. Uh, telemetry GPS okay and notice it says the prime items for it now the other thing that we're going to have is we're going to have a new element in in the system it's going to be a prime item uh, and that's going to be the base station so we have the base station And another uh, item that we're going to have is we're going to have um, the the operator base station is going to interact with an app, uh, uh, something that's going to basically be on a, a device that's connected to uh, the cloud in some way. Uh, so we're going to call this the cloud um, object. So this is going to be a piece of software that's going to be interacting going out to the cloud. Server. I'm going to call this a cloud server for all operators. And then we're going to do another configuration item, prime configuration item. Now you could almost think of that, that one could be a contracted item. And then we have another one here. Uh, we're going to call it the uh, app, uh, operator app. App. 
And so this app would basically be on some type of uh, device that basically the operator uses. So we're calling it an app in that sense. This would be on the cloud. So if I go back and look at the uh, operator diagram again, and we kind of look at the major ch pieces of this, we split it apart here and take a look at it in this other view. So um, in the EAP, we have the this guy here. This is the telemetry box with GPS. So that's going to be that one here. And then that connects to the base station. So this will be the base station. Uh, and it's going to have multiple pieces inside of it. You can see some of the pieces of it that are already there. And we are, we're going to do the allocation in a minute for some of this. Uh, and, and then we have here the cloud server for the operator. That would be this one here. And I'm calling it the particle cloud. But that would be the, another name for it, uh, cloud server for all operators. Um, and then the app here is this one here. This is the app, and I'm calling it a PC with an app on it, but it could be also an iPad that then the operator uh, is going to get the information on. So that's the, the prime items that we're going to do. And you can see they're kind of mapping one to one to these things. Um, so uh, that kind of wraps up that portion of it. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go now we're going to go to this step. So now we want to link these configurations items to the physical architecture components. And they're going to be linked at a fairly high level uh, at this point. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So, so the first, and to do the linking, we don't use this view. We don't use the EAP view because if you open up the EAP, you'll see there is no linking capability. Now there is cardinality, which means you can say how many of each units are they going to have. And, you know, for instance, in, you know, if you want to have multiples of these things, we're just going to leave this all basically set at the default for now. But you could say that there's going to be two uh, of something, you know, two telemetry units. If the, your box had two telemetry units in it, you could have two. In this case, the closest thing we might have is the battery would be an example of that. Uh, over here we have, but I actually show in this case um, the in the batteries, I actually am showing two, uh, one battery uh, configuration item for the battery holder, but then there's batteries inside of it. And we're just treating the batteries as parts. We're not treating them as uh, configuration items. So anyway, um, go back to the EAP. And this time we're going to open up the configuration item breakdown structure. And the thing, first thing you're going to know is that these new configuration items now, I'm going to get rid of this view, the new configuration items are now showing up. So I'm going to bring over this configuration item here, and I can just bring them over. And they're, notice they're already linked. So I didn't have to do the linking because they showed up immediately as soon as I did the other linking. So you can see here's the prime, here's the telemetry with GPS, and this was the breakdown of that telemetry GPS before. Well, now I'm going to have a similar breakdown, but it's going to be with the new processor that we're, that we're using. Here's the operator base station. That's going to have a breakdown of objects. The cloud uh, may not break down. We'll, we'll see how that's going to work out um, because that's going to be a, probably a contracted item to somebody who's going to write that piece of code for it. It's going to be more software-based. And this is the prime out, uh, uh, operation for the apps. Uh, now, when I go in here, what I can start doing is I can start looking at how I can do some mapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with primer, uh, this one here. And you notice here I have realized physical artifacts. So that's how I can start mapping things. So here's my physical list of artifacts for this. Uh, and I can start mapping pieces of the, the artifacts into the system. Now, the interesting thing here is I'm actually going to break that this prime item up into uh, subsystems for hardware configuration items. The ones I'm not going to break up into subsystems, I'm going to leave, I'm going to do for the same for this. Um, this will be uh, components in here. Let's go back to the EAP, uh, to the physical architecture view. And we can say what things we're not going to break up. It's going to be contracted items. Uh, so we're going to split this window again. And so this one here, we are going to break up into pieces with all the different configuration items with it, because there's actually a hardware and software item in it. So it'll be a hardware CI. This one here is a photon particle. We're going to break that one up then into pieces. Uh, but these here, we really aren't. So we're, these are going to be kind of the stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do the assignment of that cloud to that. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go to the cloud. 
object I'm going to realize from here that, that what's going to be in that cloud. And so what I'm going to look for then is the particle cloud. There we are. Uh, there's the particle cloud object. I'm just going to bring that one over uh, into that. So that one's been realized. And then uh, we're going to also do this one here. And I think that's the PC. But in this case, I'm not worried about the PC as a configured item. People buy their PCs, but I can go and search for it. So here's the Wi-Fi Internet going to the PC. Uh, that's not what we want. We want the app for it. So I think it's called App. Ah, yeah, there's the operator app. So we're going to add that to it. So that's going to get now assigned to this here. And actually, uh, let's go back to this other one. Here, the particle cloud. Let's just do a search here for cloud. Um, I think very similarly, this probably isn't the right thing now I think about it. We need in here the software for the cloud, the behavior. So I just did cloud. So here's the behavior part. That's the part we want. We don't really want the, um, the, the cloud hardware, which is the yellow box. So we just made a change there. And so now we have that link. Now, if I go back to the EAB structure, you'll see a change has now occurred uh, to the things we had before. Notice this. Now it shows that the cloud is being dropped into that. It's automatically updated because I made that assignment. And here the operator app has made it to it. Uh, if I go to show in Project Explorer, you see the item showing up here in the Project Explorer. Uh, if I go and look at the object, you can see that I, I can't change it here. Uh, it is possible that... Um, cloud. If I go here, here I can change it. So you notice that it, there's a here's the def definition of it, and here's the you know the instance of it. That's kind of what this colon means here. It's an instance. Here I can actually go and change it from this way, uh, this view also. So I don't have to use the, the CIBD. Uh, it just is. Uh, it's an element way that you can do it uh, by default. This one here though allows me to do it but I have to go to the object that it's defined from. So this is kind of, think of it, this is what the uh, object type is, and then this is the instance of it. But from the instance view, uh, I, if I go right to here, you'll see that it, it's basically just gives me this max and min, but it does tell me what the type is. And it's really that type that here that I'm actually able to set the, uh, the references on. So they all get the same reference. So anyway, that's, that's it for this part of this video, um, because now we're going to go off and we're going to break uh, these other configuration items down into greater granularity.